Welcome to the first episode of Cheese Therapy TV. I'm pretty excited about this one. Yeah, this is great. This is I know. Fun. <laughs> I know. So, on today's show, we're going to go through a few things. We're going to have a look at our September Globe Trotter and our therapy boxes, new for the month. Yeah, and we've got Cooking with Cheese, where G is going to show us how to cook the beautiful Mumbai Ash Brie wrapped in box bacon. <laughs> Damn, G does a good job. She does. <laughs> Excellent. We're also going to show you how to put together the perfect cheese platter coming into spring. It's the perfect time to learn how to do it right. Absolutely. And then we're going to go on to the Cheese Wire, where we talk about our favourite comments that people have put on our socials for the week. Excellent. So sit back, grab some cheese, glass of wine, and enjoy the show. What's in the box this week? Sam. What is it? <laughs> this is the September Globetrotter pack. I thought it was. <laughs> so this pack is our beautiful little box of travel. Little box of travel? Yeah, Why is that? Yeah. <laughs> because it's got cheeses from around the world in it. Oh, okay. She throws it every time. <laughs> Alright. Rather than coming up with some of your more silly puns and whatever <laughs> else you're going to come up with, how about we just talk about the cheese? Because right, these fine. are some pretty spectacular cheeses <laughs> in are. our September Globe Trotter pack. They are. Alright, let's, let's start soft. Okay, well let's start soft and at home in Australia. Here mm. is Chris Lloyd Loris. Yeah, now Chris is perhaps Australia's and also one of the world's most artistic makers. Uh, she does does an amazing job. This one here is a, a nice brie style cheese, but made with buffalo milk mm -hmm. and also a bay leaf on it. And that bay leaf will just add a very, very subtle flavour to it. Yeah, that's um, right. But it looks bloody beautiful. It's beautiful. And Chris likes to uh, describe this cheese as complex and simple. And it's named... <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to work out which one... You're complex and I'm simple. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Well, it's, a, it's a combination of us. <laughs> <laughs> it's named after Loris Bay, so it's reminiscent ah, of that. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> now, should we move on? Okay, let's move now, on. Now, <laughs> our mate, Will Stud, produces some beautiful cheeses. Oh, sure And does. this is nothing short of beautiful. This is Le Duc Vacheron. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is a very typical, it's more of a Christmas style cheese, mm. traditionally, because in actual fact, um, down around the side of the cheese is a hand-carved uh, strip of spruce. Now that spruce only gets uh, carved during summer, so it's only just been done. It goes around the side. Uh, now it's also a wash rind, but this isn't a very typical French wash rind. Mm. Normally the, the French love their stuff smelling like dirty socks. <laughs> this one's very subtle. It's oh, a, yeah. and it's it's beautiful, but best way to have this one. Oh you've got to bake this oh, cheese. Yes. It is so divine. And we actually are sharing the recipe on how to do that on our Facebook page. Oh, yeah, we're on, generous. On our website. <laughs> <laughs> it's very much a treat. I love that one. Mm. Now, where should we go? Hard or blue? Uh, let's Go hard. Alrighty then. So this is Quick's cheddar from the UK. Now mm -hmm. uh, it's Mary Quick who makes this cheese, mm -hmm. and this is a, it's a beautiful. This is your quintessential English cheddar. Yeah, it's um. It, I mean, a lot of people who have this cheese, it brings back a lot of nostalgia to it them. Does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. The amount of times that we've shown this at say a corporate tasting or something, and then someone comes back to us after and says. This reminds me of my childhood when my grandmother used to bring home cheese. <laughs> That's cool. It is, isn't it? All right, our fourth cheese, okay. a beautiful French I blue. I love this cheese. I haven't had it for ages. We've been, it's been a while since we've done it in our pack. I know. This is a beautiful French blue cheese called saint mm. It's so creamy and so decadent. Yeah, nice cow's milk cheese. It's mm. just... It is just a class, class blue. Oh, now, so every Globetrotter pack comes with a little booklet, which is Tasty Notes. Mm -hmm. So each cheese will have detailed description about it, uh, the maker, a little bit of history, background, some interesting facts, like who is saint Agur anyway? Who is saint Agur, Sam? Ah, you've got to get the pack to find out. <laughs> You'll be very intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> but also, uh, down the side here, we've got uh, pairing suggestions. So what to eat it with, but also what to drink with it. But uh, tell you what, Helen, 
You know that uh, champagne's my spirit animal, so I think I'm going bubbles with this one. <laughs> bubbles all the way. Damn right. So there you have it. That's the September Globetrotter pack. Grab one and get in there fast. Cooking with cheese. Hey guys, it's G for another episode of Cheese TV. I'm cooking Chris Haddon's second recipe for our bacon grape box, which is the Woombai Ash Breed baked and wrapped in box streaky bacon. Now that the cheese is unwrapped, lightly press some seasoning and a few thyme leaves into the top of the cheese. Turn it over and do it again. Now to wrap the cheese. Place four rashes of bacon horizontally over the top of the cheese, slightly overlapping. Flip the cheese over, bringing in the ends of the bacon into the center, and then lay another few rashes, this time vertically, and flip it once more. Use your remaining two rashes to wrap around the edge of the cheese, tuck in any loose bits, and use some toothpicks to secure it into place. Now, if you don't have toothpicks, you could use sprigs of rosemary. So in a hot fry pan, I'm gonna drizzle in some oil and sear both the bottom and the top of our cheese before it goes into a hot oven. Transfer your now seared cheese onto a baking tray and then into the oven for eight to 10 minutes. There you go guys. As you can tell the bacon's all crispy on the outside and just from pushing on it I can tell that it's ooey and gooey on the inside. All that's left to do is serve it with a bit of a warmed up onion jam. So bon appetit. Head to our page to find our delicious onion jam recipe. Mmm cheese. Hi cheese lovers, I have here a beautiful little cheesy donut. This is Tempest by Boat Shed and they're based in the Mornington Peninsula. This is a delicious soft buffalo's milk cheese. It's a lactic set cheese and it's dusted in the ash of French vines. How beautiful does that sound? Now this is the perfect cheese to have with a nice glass of champagne or a nice crisp rosé and it's quite mild when it's young but as it gets older it becomes beautiful and stronger and uh, more strong and complex in flavour. It's just a delicious cheese, perfect with some fresh fruit, perfect with some quince paste. Enjoy! Go for it. <laughs> well, this is exciting. We've got our September therapy box now available. These are going to sell out really fast. They are because our <laughs> Cheese Club members, they get first dips on it and it's only going to last about a week and a half. So let's have a quick <laughs> look at what we've got in the September yes. therapy box. Let's start off with the black cow down the front made by Nimbin Valley Dairy. It's a triple cream hand rolled in ash with a nice layer of ash through the middle. Those boys know how to make a great cheese. They sure do. do. And then we've got Fermier by Lava Sand, which is another cheese with a line of ash in the centre. Yeah, down along Great Ocean Road, a beautiful organic cheese. Mm -hmm. Third generation French cheese maker. Matthew really knows his stuff. He sure does. Uh, Brewer's Gold by Prom Country. This yeah. one's a special one. <laughs> it is. It's washed in a dark owl. It is the perfect cheese. I love this thing. So good. And then lastly, Grandview Sapphire Blue Sapphire. Yes, so. from my friend Nicole, about 40 kilometres south of Hobart. It's a cracker. Grab the September therapy box before it runs out. We are going to show you how to make this incredibly delicious and simple cheese platter. We've used a cheese therapy box, which comes with four beautiful cheeses. We recommend getting your cheeses out the fridge an hour before you want to serve your cheese platter. This way your cheeses will be room temperature and perfect and taste delicious. When it comes to creating a cheese board, remember the cheese is the hero. So always start with the cheese, then use the crackers, lavash or fresh crusty bread to frame around your yummy cheeses. 
This way your cheeses will be the focus and won't be cluttered together. And if you're creating a large cheese board, cut into the cheese so it's ready for your guests to eat and placing them around. And make sure each cheese has its own little knife. Then add in some fruit. It will make your board look more colorful and will help fill in those little gaps. And remember to keep it simple. One or two kinds of fruit is perfect. Try to make sure there's a variety of accompaniments around each cheese. You can also add in other delicious pieces like olives or quince paste. And to finish off, why not add some herbs to that final flourish? Now you have a beautiful cheese board that you can share with all your friends and family. And grab some wine or bubbles and relax. You deserve it. If you recreate this platter at home with your cheese therapy box, please let us know by tagging us on Facebook or Instagram. We would love to see how your beautiful cheese boards turned out. One of the great things that I love is through the week, just uh, seeing everybody's comments on our Facebook and Instagram pages and also our LinkedIn. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun and uh, you know, we work bloody hard, I tell you that, don't we? Oh, absolutely. And it's, it always is so great to see people sharing their photos. Yeah. And um, some of the comments are hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, but also, it's, it, it's a great uh, opportunity for us just to see uh, what people think of cheese therapy. So let's roll through some of these. Yeah. Something at the moment, and we've just had our vans wrapped in the last few weeks. We've got two vans, one in Geelong, one in Brisbane. Big, beautiful, cheesy photos on them. And we've been getting lots of photos sent by people who've spotted the vans around. Yep. So keep sharing those. It's awesome. We love to see those. Yes. Uh, those pickies. Yeah, so that's actually my parents took it. So <laughs> my parents... Uh, they're a subscriber, cheese, uh, they get the therapy box and I think they also get the Globetrotter pack. I think so. And so that's a, a photo mm. from their place. They're all excited because the truck turned <laughs> up. Yeah, my parents get a little bit excited about cheese. Well, who doesn't get excited True. about Good cheese? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's awesome. And we've also had some great videos and photos from some of our cheese makers. Yeah, um, look so at this one. This one, the Brewer's Gold, which is going to be in our uh, Father's Day All Australia pack. Yes. Um, Brandon, uh, Burke Brandon from Prom Country has shared some great videos of them washing the cheese in the dark ale. Yeah, so mm, beer washed cheese. <laughs> It's like, that's that's Friday fun day right there. <laughs> Friday fun day. Yes, what else we got? Yeah, what else have we got? Um, uh, so who's that oh, in the van? Oh, this one. Is that Kate? That's Kate. That looks, that's Kate in our, in our mm. Geelong van. Uh, Kate, some of you may have spoken to her. She's one of our cheese angels. Yeah, yeah, one of our glorious cheese angels. Oh, and this, I think this one too is funny. Like, this is a photo of our tarrago cheese um, look at and that. someone's just talking about am i supposed to share <laughs> no i don't think so when the cheese looks that good you don't share <laughs> no way yeah oh so my favorite cheese fan post of the week from emma who sent us who shared this photo on instagram <laughs> i love this i want to recreate this photo wow all the tarrago cheeses she must have bought two yeah, packs there. Yeah, I think there. it was two packs. Yum. Yeah, I mean, that is... one pack is awesome, but two packs, Yeah, man. that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's next level. Yep. Yeah, what about you? What's your favourite post of the week? Oh, definitely the truckle. So we put up the truckle uh, pick. Where's that oh, one? Oh, yeah, where is that? Oh, there we is. Here it is. <laughs> and Kelly Larson goes, a truckle of cheese is my new favourite measurement. <laughs> Every, oh. Everybody needs a truckle in their life. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. And I tell you what, this week I've never said the word truckle no, so much. No, me neither. But I do <laughs> I do really want a truckle for Father's Day. Who, who wouldn't want a truckle for Father's Day? I'm not a father True. and I want a truckle for Father's yeah. Day. <laughs> Everybody wants a truckle. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. But um, guys, we love you sharing all these photos and comments with us. So don't stop. Please keep sharing. Yep. It's fantastic. Excellent. Thanks, guys. See Thanks, ya. Thanks, everyone. Well, thanks, everyone. We hope you enjoyed that. 
And if there's any ideas or suggestions on videos that you would like to see, please comment. Yes, and if you'd like to see some more of our cheesy videos, make sure you like and subscribe and also ring that ring notification bell. <laughs> ring the notification bell. Thanks everyone. Alright, bye. See ya.